From Hollywood, the NBC Theater presents... Screen Director's Assignment, Production, The Trouble with Women, Director, Sidney Lanfield, Star, Ray Milan. The Hollywood Screen Directors present a comedy with an apology to psychology, The Trouble with Women, starring Ray Milland and introducing the director of the film, Sidney Lanfield. It was in the days when vaudeville was bright and shining that a soft-spoken young comedian happened to be performing in Hollywood. It also happened that the film studio at the time was looking for a clever new comedy writer. The comedian got the job, and that's how our guest screen director tonight was ushered into motion pictures. He stayed to become one of Hollywood's most skilled directors, the creator of such fun-filled entertainment as My Favorite Blonde, Standing Room Only, and The Well-Groomed Bride. Ladies and gentlemen, the director of The Trouble with Women, Mr. Sidney Landfield. Thank you. After an introduction like that, I think I should mention that a comedy is only as amusing as its story and its cast. As for the director, well, he just puts those two things together. In the case of The Trouble with Women, it was a particular pleasure both because of my great admiration for Ray Milland and because of the story itself, which presents a completely cockeyed approach to romance. Now, here it is, The Trouble with Women, starring Ray Milland in his original role of Professor Gilbert Sedley with Mary Jane Croft as Kate Farrell. I'm from the Morning Journal, Professor Sedley. How about a statement on your new book? Yeah, you beating up any women lately? Sorry, no statement. Oh, have a heart. We're only reporters. If you people are from the press, Professor Mila and myself can give you nothing but sympathy. Perfectly correct, Gilbert. You people have distorted my fiancé's views, made him a laughing stock. Oh, Martha Motherly is the only one who's been writing all those stories. We're on the level. Professor Sedley, just a word about your new book, The Subjugation of Women. If you read it, you'll find my entire theory stated there. We don't read, Professor. Just make a statement. That, that's all we ask. Very well. As professor of psychology at Midwest University, I have proved conclusively that the human female harbors an unconscious desire to be dominated and occasionally beaten by the human male. Wow, that's it. That's the stuff. How about it, Professor Mueller? How does it feel to be engaged to the man who says women should be beaten? Our engagement concerns only Professor Sedley and myself. Hey, Sedley, I got a purely scientific question. What is it? Are you going to beat your fiancé with your bare hands or are you going to use a stick? <laughs> Mr. Sedley, this, this is unbearable. Dr. Dawson. My position as president of the university, what will the board of regents say? Is something wrong? Wrong? Have you read Martha Motherly's column? No. Here, read it. Hasn't been for two weeks since Professor Gilbert Sedley of Midwest University published his book, The Subjugation of Women. But already, 14 cases of wife beating have been reported and local hospitals have administered treatment to five husbands. Oh, but this is adolescent. It, it, it's asinine. It's malicious. Sedley, she also says that you dabble in hypnotism. Dabble? Mm. Dr. Dawson, Martha Motherly has gone too far. Exactly. Sedley, you're going to sue. You're going to sue the Morning Journal and Martha Motherly. Great story, great. Kate Farrell, you're the best Martha Motherly this paper ever had. Oh, Joe, don't you think we're being kind of hard on him? Yeah, yeah, and keep it up. City desk, Joe McBride. Oh, hello, boss. What? He is? How much? Okay, okay, I'm your city editor, ain't I? I'll think of something. A fine reporter you are. Screwball Sedley suing the Morning Journal and Martha Motherly for 300 grand. Can't sue me. I'm Martha Motherly. Say, say, I got an idea. Maybe you can do a prison story. I was a woman convict. (laughs) 
Joe McBride, you told me to write that story. A story, not a libel suit. Well, what's libelous about that article? Three misquotations, four unproved statements, 57 damaging innuendos. Well, maybe something's wrong with my typewriter. Kate, I've got an angle. If I get you out of this mess, will you marry me? Just come and see me on visiting days. What's your idea? Look, we said that Sedley likes to hit women. He objects? Okay, all we have to do is prove he does like to hit women. Katie, you're just the type. No, Joe! Now, kitten, how hard can a professor hit? Well, he wouldn't hit a total stranger. So you get to know him. And what's the easiest way to get to know a professor? Now, wait a minute. You're going back to school, Katie. Joe, I can't be a college girl again. So what's a college girl? A pair of bobby socks with glasses. Do you really think it'd work? You're a cinch. Now get going, Martha Motherly, and don't come back without bruises. Now, Miss Farrell, if you'll sit down. Thank you, Professor. Oh, what a charming study. Miss Farrell, I've become highly interested in you during the past few days. Why, Professor... I am referring, Miss Farrell, to your attitude in class. Oh. For some reason, you bring every discussion around to the question, would I hit a woman? Well, would you? Under certain circumstances, yes. Why? Well, it's just that I've wondered what a man like you would think of my own problem. And what is your problem, Miss Farrell? I like to slug men. Indeed. <laughs> yes, right in the kisser. If I hit you, Professor, would you hit back? I would, yes. Now, isn't that nice? Mm. Miss Farrell, I must say that with your, uh... Uh, your, uh... Well, I never quite conceived you as the, uh, the slugging type. Oh, yes, I do it very well. Yes. Uh, hmm. That, that perfume you're wearing, Miss Farrell, what is it? Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine, I mean, come in! <laughs> Gilbert. Miss Farrell. I was just leaving, Professor Miller. Oh, hello, Agnes. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Farrell. Goodbye, Professor Sedley. Well, Gilbert. An extremely interesting case, Agnes. She slugs men. Really? Gilbert, I've been watching you and that young woman. Yes, I enjoy watching her myself. <laughs> As an intelligent person, I flatter myself I'm above jealousy. But for your own sake, are you sure your interest in Miss Farrell isn't more than professional? Why, why, yes. Yes, that explains it. Oh, how perceptive you are, Agnes. You must fight this, Gilbert. You must devote all your energies to your current studies on hypnotism. It's strange I didn't realize it myself. I have a curious feeling in her presence. I find I breathe harder. The customary animalistic reactions. Oh, Agnes, what a wonderful opportunity to study my own reactions. A highly civilized man's temporary lapse into the primitive. I'll take notes on myself, Agnes. Yes, I'll take notes. <laughs> City desk, please. Hello, Joe. Kate Farrell. Me, Martha Motherly. Yeah, well, it's all set. He'll probably hit me tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> no, no, I promise not to duck. Just have Herman bring his camera and hide in the bushes next to the administration building, and I'll do the rest. No, Joe McBride, I don't want to marry you. I wouldn't marry anybody who'd send me out to be beaten up by another man. Oh, once we're married, you'll take care of those intimate little things. <laughs> Goodbye. Isn't it a lovely day, Professor? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, do you have a pencil, Miss Farrell? Oh, yes, certainly. Right here. Thank you. What are you writing in that little book? That I wish you'd call me Gilbert. Well, uh, couldn't you just tell me? Well, you'll have to forgive me, Kate, if I'm engrossed in my own reactions. Oh, of course. Gilbert. Gilbert. I'll write that down. Well, here we are, Professor. Is, the, is this the bench you had in mind for our little chat? What's wrong with this bench? Why, nothing. Lovely view of the administration building. Very peaceful on such a fine day. It's a dreary day. 
But before, you said it was lovely. Just because you think it's a nice day, must I think it's a nice day? Now, steady, Miss Farrell. Your temper... You leave my temper out of this. But we must face reality, Miss Farrell. You dare use that word to me. You dare. Oh, you struck me. Miss Farrell, defend yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Professor Sedley, you're fierce. Quick, go ahead, hit me. Oh, well, good afternoon, Dr. Dawson. Professor Sedley. You were about to strike this woman. Well, it's a wonderful afternoon with swinging your arms. Yes, indeed. Oh, really, Dr. Dawson, it was my fault. I... Uh, Professor Sedley, I must warn you about your conduct. I, I, I'm quite perturbed. Good day. Good day, Dr. Dawson. Amazing. What is? I even like you when you lose your temper. Kate, may I borrow your pencil again? <laughs> Come in. Gilbert. Oh, hello, Agnes. Gilbert, I'm worried about you. That absurd infatuation, is it any better? No. No, it's worse. Much worse. Agnes, I'd I'd like your opinion on these notes. I've been trying free thought analysis. And what are your conclusions? Well, they're a little frightening. I've just been sitting here thinking, and this is what I've written down. Kate Farrell, pink champagne. Agnes Miller, warm beer. Oh! (laughs) You beast! Oh, you struck me. Agnes Miller, defend yourself. (laughs) Professor Sedley. Why, Dr. Dawson. Professor Sedley, the next time I find you indulging in your morbid practice of striking women, it will be my duty to inform the Board of Regents. Good day. doing here on the campus? Joe sent me. He wants you and me to do a story on Rita LeMay, the fan dancer over at the Gaiety. Well, what about... She's suing for divorce. She says her husband tore her clothes off. <laughs> Guess he couldn't afford a ticket. <laughs> oh, boy, this is one job I'm going to enjoy photographing. Fan dancer. Oh, you can't say you don't give variety working on the morning journal. I'm sorry I ever started working for the morning journal. Kate. Uh, oh, Gilbert. Hello. Kate. Did I understand you to say you were working for the Morning Journal? Oh, uh, well, yes. You see, uh, I've taken a part-time job there. But, Kate, you'd work under the same roof with Martha Motherly? Well, it's uh, for my thesis. I thought you'd like me to do it on the journalistic mind. I'm getting material at the journal. Oh, how courageous of you, Kate. Uh, uh, Professor Sedley, this is Herman Lupin, a uh, photographer. Hi, Professor. How do you do? I'm covering this story interviewing a showgirl, and her, uh, Mr. Lupin will take pictures. Well, perhaps I should go with you, Kate. You might need my guidance. Oh, no, Gilbert, you can't do that. Oh, sure he can. Why not? Uh, you, you wait here. I gotta go make a phone call. City desk, McBride. How are you, Herman? No, he is? Well, stick with Sedley. Hold on to him. I'll figure something out. Yeah. So long. Sometimes I wonder why I don't hate myself. Danny Giga, please. Hello, Danny. McBride, Morning Journal. How'd you like some publicity for the Gaiety Theater? You would? Good. Now listen to me and I'll splash the Gaiety, Rita LeMay, and Professor Sedley all over page one. listening to the Hollywood Screen Director's presentation of The Trouble with Women, starring Ray Milland and introducing the director of the film, Sidney Landfield. Welcome to the backstage gaiety. Danny Giger's the name. Just step into the little lady's dressing room. 
Hiya, Danny. Uh, folks, this is Rita LeMay. Hi, I'm Hyman, photographer, and this here is Kate Farrell, reporter, and her friend, Professor Sedley. How do you do? How do you do? The pleasure's mine, honey. Uh, uh, Herman, uh, you come with me, eh? Oh, Professor, be sure and stay for the next number. It'll kill you. Hey, come on, Herman. Hey, Professor, we got something in common. We have? Mr. Prockley, my second husband, he taught in college. Did he? Yeah, the Kensington Barber College. <laughs> Not that you're like Mr. Prockley. What a stinker. <laughs> Rita, about Mr. Frisbee, your current husband, didn't you charge that he tore off your clothes? Mr. Frisbee behaved like a beast. <laughs> Kate... Don't you imagine the newspaper readers would be interested in the psychology of a fan dancer? Oh, no, Gilbert, I don't... Yeah, th yeah, it might be very interesting. Mm hmm Miss LeMay, why did you become a fan dancer instead of, oh, let's say, a stenographer? Don't you mention no steno to me. Mr. Frisbee had a stenographer, and what those two... No, no, never mind, never mind. <laughs> uh, what I'm getting at is simply this. Uh, in wearing your scanty costume publicly, Miss LeMay... Uh, do you gratify any tendency towards exhibitionism? Gilbert. Listen, you slob. <laughs> I'm a respectable woman. I cook, I knit, I crochet. I've been a good wife five times. <laughs> uh, hey, Professor, uh, come on, take a gander at the next act. Very well, it's uh, rather warm in here. Well, you go ahead, Gilbert. I want to speak to Miss LeMay alone. What a joke. Now, you stand right here, Professor, in the wings. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you, Mr. Giger. Okay, girls, there he is, the guy who likes to sock women. Now, you know what you have to do when you go on the stage. Oh, yeah, we know. All right. Oh, uh, Professor. Uh, yes? Uh, come here a minute, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, girls, you're on. Take him away. Uh -huh. No, madam. Wait, ladies, stop. Unhand me, girls. Don't take me out there. Let me off. Oh, I'm on the stage. All right, just hold it, Professor. Thanks. You take a great picture. Oh, oh, my goodness. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. Ain't it a Lulu? Oh, Joe, you're not going to print it. Katie, don't you realize what this photograph means? It means you're playing a filthy trick on a decent guy who wouldn't hurt anybody. What do you call that libel suit? Take it or leave it? Sedley's on his way over now. We got him on the spot, Katie. Joe, don't you think we have it coming to us? Have it come? Have you fallen for this guy? Of course not. Hey, Joe, here comes Sedley. Gilbert. Hello, Kate. And I suppose you are McBride? Yeah, that's right. Let me present you with this picture of yourself. Very tasty. Gilbert, if I'd realized that I you... know, Kate. Would you rather I didn't publish it, Sedley? I suppose you're going to offer to suppress this picture if I withdraw my libel suit against the paper. Bride boy. McBride, I have an overwhelming desire to punch your nose. Yeah? Go ahead and try it. I will. You're wonderful. You knocked him out. No, if I can only find Martha Motherly, I'll do the same to her. Yeah, well, come on. Let's get out of here, Gilbert. You're right, Kate. I've had just about as much of this place as I can stand. Hey, hey, Joe. Joe, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Hand the phone down here. <laughs> yeah, here. Here you are, Joe. Hello. Give me the composing room. Hello, Al. Yank out that beauty contest picture on the front page. That's right, we're running the picture of Professor Sedley instead. This is where I live, Gilbert. It was very sweet of you to take me home. Oh, I, I like taking you home. I'll write that down. Are you writing in that silly book again? Oh, uh, well, it's just that I had an urge to kiss you. It's unthinkable, of course. Of course. But temperamentally, we're oceans apart. Well, uh, we're pretty close physically. Well, I, I must be completely honest with you, Kate. My feeling for you... Yes, Gilbert? Well, very likely it's, it's essentially chemical, like, like what the deer feels for the doe or the gander for the goose. Well, is that bad? Uh, <laughs> Do you want to kiss me? Yes. I'll write that in the book. Uh, 
Throw the book away, Professor. We're going to write a new one, starting now. Gilbert. Gilbert. Yes, Agnes? I believe I've found the cure for your infatuation. Oh, it's hopeless. Quite hopeless. Might as well face it. This book may change your mind. Why, it... Why, it's the Bryce College Alumni Annual. And here's Kate's picture. Catherine Farrell, now reporter for the Midwest City Morning Journal. You see? But, Agnes, she told me all about her connection with the newspaper. This annual, Gilbert, was published three years ago. That's impossible. Look at the date. I've had the journalism department check on Miss Farrell. She happens to use the pen name of Martha Motherly. You mean Kate? Kate was responsible for those articles? Oh, no! Professor Sedley, you've gone too far. Dr. Dawson, what... Look at this picture in the morning journal. Gilbert, you were no shameless women. How could you? Oh, what difference does it make now? What difference does it make? Professor Sedley, I'm calling an immediate meeting of the Board of Regents. You would be wise to prepare your resignation. Joe, how could you do it? How could you print that picture? Oh, Katie, it was news, wasn't it? News? I'm quitting. If that's news, I'm through. Now, Katie... And on top of everything else, the poor guy found out that I'm Martha Motherly. Now he won't even speak to me. Listen, kitten, I'm human. I can be jealous. Sedley got my goat. But, Katie, look, I love you. Marry me, kitten. Marry me, I'll do anything you want. Anything would be a human being instead of an animated typewriter. I'll give it up. I'll quit honest newspaper business. I'll take a publicity job. <laughs> Katie... I'll be the best husband you ever saw. Oh, Joe, do you really think we'd be happy together? Together? I don't know. It's a part I'm worried about. <laughs> I'll write my resignation right now. Just watch me, kid. City desk. Oh, hello, Sedley. Now, wait a minute. Don't get sore at me. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's too bad. Now, look, sue anybody you want. I'm not even working here anymore. I'm leaving. I'm getting married to Kate. Kate Farrell. That's right, married. Sedley. Sedley. Funny, he hung up. Joe, you shouldn't have told him that. Well, I was excited. But it isn't true. Look, I'll show you what kind of a husband you're getting. Sedley said the Board of Regents is fixing to bounce him because of that picture. Why don't you go down and straighten it all out, huh? You'll feel better then, and then we can talk about us. Mr. Sedley? Yes, Dr. Dawson? It's my privilege to inform you that the Board of Regents has refused your resignation. They have? Miss Farrell, that Martha Motherly girl, she told us the whole story, blamed herself for everything. You mean Kate defended me? In glowing terms, Sedley. She spoke very highly of you. Well, well, would you say that, that she seemed fond of me? I would say that, yes. A fine girl, Sedley, a fine girl. If I were you... Yes, Dr. Dawson? Think it over, Sedley. Mm. That Agnes Miller somehow reminds me of uh, warm beer. <laughs> good afternoon, Dr. Dawson. Uh, good afternoon, Professor Beerler. Uh, Miller. <laughs> Gilbert, you'll be remaining at the university. So it appears. How wonderful. I'm doing research in one of your own specialties. Hypnosis and its bearing on emotion. Oh, very interesting subject. Gilbert, do you think that hypnosis can cause a person to reveal his true emotion? Love, for instance? Yes, but only true emotion. For instance, they wouldn't lie about... Hypnosis? Yes, Gilbert. That's it, hypnosis! Exactly what I'm talking about. That's how I'll find out about her. About who, Gilbert? Miss Farrell. But, Gilbert, she's just a... a body without a mind. And you, Agnes, are a mind without a... Uh, uh, hand me that phone. <laughs> Who are you phoning? My attorney. I want him to get that lawsuit of mine into court as soon as possible. Your Honor, my client, Professor Sedley, wishes to make a statement. Proceed. Your Honor, Martha Motherly, in one of her articles, alleged that I am a dabbler in hypnotism. I should like to prove to the court that I am not a dabbler, but a professional. 
Proceed. I shall do this by hypnosis in this very courtroom. Objection. Your Honor, this demonstration is pertinent to our case. Proceed. <laughs> to set the defense at ease, Your Honor, I should like to perform the experiment on one of the defendants, Miss Catherine Farrell. Well, in that case, we're willing to cooperate. Miss Farrell, please. Now, Miss Farrell, I want you to follow my instructions. Yes, Gilbert. I suggest that you observe this very closely, Your Honor. Proceed. Kate, just watch my eyes and try to relax. Steadily. Steadily. Your sight is growing dim. Dim. Your sight is growing dim. Now, Miss Farrell, you were asleep. But you hear what I say, don't you? I hear what you say. You don't love McBride, do you? I don't love McBride. You won't marry McBride. I won't marry McBride. You love me, don't you? I love you. Repeat after me. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. You'll marry me, won't you? Well, it's about time you ask me. <laughs> of course I'll marry you, darling. But, Kate, weren't you hypnotized? Not for a second. Then, then why did you say I love you? Because I do. But what about McBride? Oh, I never really said I'd marry him. Besides, you could never leave the paper. Look at him. He's already writing the story. What a headline, Katie. Sven Galley courts girl in courtroom. Oh, come on, Kate. Let's get away somewhere. Your Honor, this concludes my demonstration in hypnosis. With your permission, Your Honor... I love you, Gilbert. <laughs> your Honor! <laughs> I'll marry you, Gilbert. No, no. Thanks, Judge. I already have a girl. Gilbert, Gilbert I, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Our guests will return in just a moment. Next week, the NBC Theater turns the pages of fantasy as we bring you the dramatic screen story, It's a Wonderful Life, with the original team of director and star, Frank Capra and Jimmy Stewart. And now, here again is tonight's star, Ray Milland and screen director, Sidney Landfield. Said now that we've finished the trouble with women, I've got a great idea for a sequel picture. Sequel to The Trouble with Women? Sure, we'll call it The Trouble with Screen Directors. Ray, there just isn't enough film in Hollywood to make that picture. <laughs> well, it's a comedy about a screen director who finds himself on a radio show, and you are a natural for the part. You mean it's going to be a picture about what happens when I get in front of a microphone? Exactly. That isn't comedy, Ray. That's tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you're really afraid of a little old microphone after all the people you've taught how to act? You want a one-word answer? I do. Yes. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll teach you the three magic words of radio. Once you know those words, Sid, you won't have to be nervous anymore. Now listen. Just those three words? That's right. Now, go ahead and try them. Okay, I will. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> good night, folks. And good night to you, Ray Milan and Sidney Landfield. <laughs> The Trouble with Women was presented through the courtesy of Paramount Pictures, whose current release is Bride of Vengeance, starring Paulette Goddard, John Lund, and McDonald Carey. Ray Milland is currently being seen in the Paramount picture Alias Nick Beale, and can currently be heard on The Family Hour of Stars. Sidney Landfield's forthcoming release is the Paramount picture Sorrowful Jones, starring Bob Hope and Lucille Ball. Included in tonight's cast were Mary Jane Croft, Frank Lovejoy, Sarah Jane Wells, Florence Hallop, Griff Barnett, Herb Vigran, Bob Bruce, Ralph Moody, and Dan Riss. The Trouble with Women was adapted for radio by Richard Allen Simmons, and original music was composed and conducted by Henry Russell. Production was under the supervision of Howard Wiley, associate producer Bill Karn. Your announcer has been Frank Barton. Listen again next week when the NBC Theater presents... Screen Director's Assignment, Production, It's a Wonderful Life, Director Frank Capra, Star Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> The NBC Theater came to you from Hollywood. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.